Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Cody. The guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we are servicing some claw machines, some arcade machines, some coin pusher machines, so just a little bit of everything. Uh, this is a Mexican restaurant. This claw had a broken bill acceptor in it, and it's doing a lot better now. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's doing a lot better now that, uh, that we switched that out. So let's go ahead and crack this guy open and, and see what we got inside. Very, very nice. That's a lot of silver. It did very, very well. Help Eli with the assist. Those quarters get heavy. You know, it, it's surprising how, how much those uh, bank bags hold. You know, it's, it's crazy. Go ahead, open the Bill magazine, and look at that. That's a fat stack. That's what that's what you want to see every single time. That's very exciting. Love it. So yeah, this machine's doing a lot better now. Obviously, that we switched out the Bill acceptor. So we'll go inside now and count up all this change. I'll give you guys the total after this. A hundred and forty-four twenty-five. All in quarters. That is insane. Plus that stack. We're looking at over three hundred dollars. Um, that's in three weeks too. So pretty dang good. Pretty exciting. Alright, now we're at a pizza restaurant. This crane is downstairs. This is a two-story restaurant upstairs they have a arcade our arcade and we'll go ahead and open this guy up and Eli will fill it up and there we go it looks good you know if you guys want to see us fill the machines uh, I, we can it just takes up a little bit more time and I guess I could speed it up if you guys would like but um, but yeah looks very good I love those pirate chests those are those are one of my favorites all right but let's open this guy up and see what the bill magazine did BAM fat god it never gets old look at that wow wow clip that guy back on now down below is where the coins at in um, this machine Open that door up. Oh, second key. <laughs> pull it the pull out that box and not a whole ton, but still pretty good. I consider that a pretty solid pull. Very happy with it. Let's go upstairs and check out this neon kitty crane. This is one of my favorites. This this machine takes smaller plush, as you can see. And the very cool thing about this too is that um, you don't have to get your stuff from you know online resources to fill a machine like this. You can go into places like Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and you can find little uh, knickknack things like that just to put into the machine, and um, and you know you you still make a profit. So 
go ahead and open this guy first. I guess I uh, I got that wrong, but did very, very well. This one always does very well on quarters. Let's dump that in. 144.25. Absolutely insane. I love it. Let's see how the Bill Magazine did. And this and this is one of those machines that it just does better on quarters. It's just one of those things. If you get a bill changer and, you know, they give their kids a bill, they're, they're going to want to use it on the machine. You know, it's kind of a part of the experience, I think. So I, I believe that's one of the uh, reasons. But let's look at that coin pusher. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Let's drop it in the scale. 172 dollars flat I was kind of digging through it kind of show you guys how deep it was and I love the gumball pinball machine one of my favorite machines and it's such a good machine too. look at all those quarters Did very well considering gumballs are such a low uh, low price so you know you have great margins on them I believe that was twenty-six dollars. I didn't. I didn't say that out loud. Let's open this box. This is in the neon kitty crane, and did pretty well on quarters. You can't complain about that. That is a uh, that is a fat box full of quarters. Let's put it on the scale. Fifty-one seventy-five. Pretty good. I'm not mad at that. Open it up and wah wah wah. What is it? Three, four dollars? Ah. These machines, I don't know what it is, but you know, I kind of I kind of think I know what it is. Okay guys, and this is the arcade machines, the uh, the cabinets, and let's dump it in the scale. Five bucks. Whoop. I think it's still five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. And they're great to have. I think they're really fun to have. And I think you kind of have to have them in a lot of cases. The Pac-Man not looking much better. We didn't put it on the scale. I think it was like four seventy-five, five bucks, something like that. This this arcade game actually does not have a uh, catch box for all the quarters, so had to pick those out by hand. But looks like another maybe. 250 350 and now here's our driving game um we weren't sure why it wasn't on until we realized that we didn't flip a switch so that's why it's not on in this shot but it should be on in later shots let's take this to the scale and 37.50 and i mean that's a that's an arcade game so if you're looking at if you're looking to lean that way of uh bending then Maybe driving games is a uh, is a nice little niche for you. Now we didn't complete these all the way because we forgot um, a key. I'll show you um, in a second. But one of he's using uh, Eli's using the barrel key right now, and just to the left it is a standard key. But you can see that it's doing very well. So we're just gonna leave that, let it sit, and accumulate more. So whenever we come back next time, we'll have a uh, a sweet pool to. Um, to really end it on a good note two different keyholes see that oh well more money more money next time that kitty crane too um, was out of service for two weeks so something to kind of um, keep in mind that um, that I just that I just remembered I was kind of thinking that uh, it should have did a little bit better than that, but I remember too. Let me pull up a image on the screen. So if you see here, there's that rope that's all twined up. So that somehow got all jammed up, but we got it fixed, and uh, it was actually a really easy fix. I was I was really I was really happy with uh, how fast that that process was. So not too bad. 
I guess I should have got that on film, us, uh, us messing with all of that, but what can you do? So, uh, the driving game is back on. And the kitty crane. And this Westphalia is, um, is the whole location is one month, so. But that crane has been, it was out. You live and you learn. Now we are at the grocery store with the coin pusher and the candy rack. We're not servicing the candy rack tonight. Uh, we're going to also let uh, that one sit. And uh, I don't know. Maybe we can do a, a candy rack. We have we have several out on route now. Maybe maybe we can throw together a candy rack video. If that's something you guys would be into. Let's open this coin pusher and look at that. Look at that. So we're about to put it in here, and Eli and I we're so excited. Here we go. 40, 50, 100, 100, and 200, and uh, 304.25. That is a very, very nice pool. Very happy with that. All right, guys. Um, the screen is gonna do something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I wanna, uh, I wanna cover some questions. So I'm gonna put some questions up on the screen that you guys have had. Um, and, and just try to try to answer them to the best of my ability. So here we go All right, and our first question is from Matthew Morris and Matthew Morris says where do you buy your machines from? It's a great question Matthew uh, Cute dog and thanks for the question so I'm gonna bring up my computer up on the screen here and you will be able to see the websites that we use uh, for SMB and Smart Industries. All right, and just thinking about it, um, this question is such a such a broad, um, you know, it, machines. You know, there's so many different kinds of vending machines out there. If you're into soda or snack or bulk or amusement. Um, so on and so forth. So me explaining this might just take uh, a while as it is. So adding another question on top of that uh, probably won't. It won't happen. So, um, but let's go ahead and talk about these cranes um, and where we get them. So this is SMB's website, um, and pretty much all it's good for is looking at the cranes. You can't actually buy these cranes um, from the website directly. It's not like it's Amazon or something like that you actually have to call them up and it's it's pretty old school uh, and you'll talk to one of their reps and you'll talk about the crane you want I want this kiss crane I just went to a kiss concert and I also want to fill it with uh, medium-sized plush of the uh, 1990s um, characters so you'll find things like Doug and I don't know cat dog and things of that nature so they'll start working with you and they'll want to know how much of it you want how many machines you want how much plus you want so depending on uh, on that uh, also depends on the price that you pay so you know the more you pay, the more you buy uh, the less you pay so it's kind of like the bulk thing uh, if you buy in bulk it's cheaper so let's go to the 25 inch uh, crane so these are the smaller ones so yeah these are a lot of your candy uh, and egg machines if you're if you're familiar with those but um, we have a few of these and we absolutely love them this is smart industries and it's the same kind of deal um, I mean, you can go to contact sales and, you know, put in all your information, but, uh, you do have to call them up and do it that way. But, uh, they have really cool machines. Uh, Smart Industries is a great, great place, uh, a great company rather. And 
they have insane things like this teddy bear uh, grand prize um, box. So if you win the uh, teddy bear, it just opens right up and you just pull it out and it's and it's yours. And I think I, I think that's really I think that's really unique and and different. But you can go through all these different um, all these different options, kind of just see what you wanna uh, what what you're into. They got the names down below and all that sort of thing. Um, but they don't all but they don't only do uh, crane machines as you can see you know they do the they do the basketball and um, uh, I think that's it as far as different games go but uh, magic coin spin zone capsule house these are all different kind of uh, different kind of games to to what cranes uh, what what they usually do is cranes but anyways the uh, parts tech support these guys are awesome with tech support i mean they are on it um so if you do have any problems uh check them out and guys you do not have to buy these machines brand new uh i know that's ideal i know i know that's you know in a perfect world that's how you'd have it but you can still find a lot of these machines pre-owned on places like craigslist facebook marketplace let go there's several others uh, of these kind of sites that you can sell stuff on, but people put them on there and maybe they bought them for you know a, a cute little decoration for their house, and you know may you know maybe they changed their mind it wasn't as good as of an idea as they thought, so they're trying to let it go for for pennies for peanuts, so just keep your eyes peeled you know, uh, Eli and I still buy used machines time to time, um, we we get such a great deal on uh, new machines because we buy so many. But, um, you know, if, if there's a great deal out there, there is a great deal, and uh, there's no disputing that. But, guys, if you like this video, um, I feel like I didn't really touch that much on, on doing what you need. So, like, where we get our machines and stuff. Um, I want to make a, a full, like, in-depth video of where we get all our machines, all of our machines, like... Um, we also use CandyMachines.com and GumballMachine.com. So, you know, you can get your candy through there. You can get uh, bulk machines. Guys, there's just so much to cover. Um, so I, I, I hope uh, you're happy with uh, <laughs> the amount that I covered here today. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Uh, all the subs, all the comments, you guys are so great. Eli and I love you guys so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. You can say anything. We just want to hear from you guys. We love talking to you guys. And uh, thank you, you guys all. Have a great day.